Welcome to this video where I'm going to show you how we can do some painting by numbers to make some spreadsheet artworks. So I've got a new Google Sheets document and the first thing I'm going to do is just give it a name. Um, I might go on to make a Christmas card design, so I'll name it Christmas card. And then what we're going to do is select each of our column headers, that's these things here, and we need to click and drag on the A and whilst I'm holding down my button, my mouse button, I'm going to drag all the way across to the right and select all the way up to Z. So now I've selected all of my column headings and they will have gone dark grey. And now I'm going to place my mouse just between two headers and it will change to this sort of uh, this arrow that points to the right. If I click and drag here I'll be able to resize my cells. So I'm going to click, drag, and it only looks like I'm doing it on the one I'm currently working on, but you'll see what happens in a moment. So I'm going to make these basically square, and then I let go of my mouse. And now all of my uh, columns have reduced in width. So I can click now on any cell to unselect the rest of them. So that's resized, and now I've got um, some squares which are going to form the sort of the basic, the smallest parts of my pictures. It's a bit like pixels, so if you've ever used like Minecraft or something, it'll look a bit like that when we're done. So in order to make the painting work, we're going to use a thing called conditional formatting. And that is going to set up our spreadsheet that, so that when we type in a number, like one or two, then we can make different colours appear in the cells. So to do that, I'm going to click on this little box between the A and one, and that selects all the cells in my spreadsheet. Then I'm going to go to the Format menu and I'm going to click on Conditional Formatting. That brings up a window over here on the right hand side and here we can add each of the rules for the different colours that we want to show on our spreadsheet. So to do that we say Format Cells If, I'm going to change that to say Text Is Exactly. And, I can say if, and I'm going to put a 1 in here, so if the text is exactly a 1 and now I need to choose the colours, so I'm going to choose a green colour. I don't like this, this one, so I'm going to change my fill colour by clicking here, and I'm going to choose this green here. And I'm also going to set the text colour to be the same. And that means that I won't see the one in my artwork. Okay, so that's added um, that rule, and if I just press done, anywhere I now click on my spreadsheet and enter a one, will go green. Okay. So we could make, use this to start making a little bit of a Christmas tree design. So I'd now like to add another colour to my design. So I'd like to have a brown so I can draw a trunk underneath my tree. So to do that, I'm going to select all my cells again by clicking on this box in the top left. And I go back to my conditional format rules. I'm going to add a new rule. This time, format cells if text is exactly two. And I'm going to set... Uh, the colour I want, so I'm going to go to custom to get uh, my own choice of a brown colour. And I'm just going to choose a suitable colour for the trunk. Press OK. That set my text and I'm going to set the fill to be the same. So now that I've chosen a custom colour, it, it goes into my little custom colour swatch down here, so I can click on that. Press done. And now I have two rules, two colour rules, a green and a brown. So if I now start putting numbers in, the number two, then it starts showing my trunk of my tree. And you can imagine that we could add more rules for different numbers that match the different colours. So I could draw baubles, I could put presents on the side, I could do a background. There's really uh, no limit other than your own imagination. Once your design is done, we need to, to print it. So we're going to go to File, Print, and we're just going to make sure a few settings are adjusted. So we're going to want to print the current sheet. We're going to change the letter size to whatever suits your printer, probably A4. Then you want to set either landscape or portrait, depending on whether your design goes horizontally across, which is landscape, or vertically up, which is portrait. We're going to scale it to fit to either the width or the height of the page. So width if you did landscape, height if you did portrait. I'm going to give quite narrow margins. And under formatting, I'm going to switch off show grid lines and show notes. And that just means that I'm going to, um, the, all, the only thing printing will be the actual image itself and not the lines between the images. Once that's done, you can just press next. 
and it will open up in Chrome's print dialog and you can just choose your printer and send it to the printer as you normally would. So that's how you can set up your spreadsheet to um, do painting by numbers by using conditional formatting. Uh, so now you just need to go and have a go at this. Uh, don't forget to resize the columns. That's the first and most important thing that you do. And uh, come up with whatever artwork you can. Good luck, enjoy it. Um, and let's see what you get to create.